Hello folks, this is Senile Sarge and we are on episode number eight. And we, boy, we have a lot of stuff to do today. I think we have something here. So let's just see what we're gonna be doing. So we're gonna go after the Alpha Croco today. That should be fun. We're probably gonna get face punched. I also wanna show you guys kind of some of the changes that we've done thus far in the game. Uh, we've had a couple, an opportunity to go down deep mines a couple of times and then we may stop. Looks like we got somebody here that's visiting as well. So we'll probably go over there and kind of check that out. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for spending time with me. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please do me a favor, hit that like button. And uh, if you don't mind, smash that subscription button as well. Helps me, uh, helps me help you. That way I put more content out. All right, so let's get into what we're doing here. This is all stuff, uh, all of this stuff's from my animal research. So basically I caught a bird and I caught a kangaroo. I sent it up to them and then they're basically giving me some, uh, some blue money as I call it for this stuff. And then they're, of course, they're giving me back my, my animal traps. So we're going to set the animal traps real quick. We do have a couple kangaroos that keep bouncing around up in this joint. And I've had a, just about enough of them. So we're going to put those. Let's put one right about here. Bam. All right. Let's check this other one. Yep. We do have another one. Okay. Let's throw that one right about here. Bam. Okay. We got all kinds of... I, I'm not going to do all of these bananas well no i am i'm gonna do them all i'm gonna do them all real quick look at all these bananas like there's bananas for days up in this joint like we the best thing i probably did was to actually plant all of these so i get super lucky now what i have found is that the, the fruit salads are really good so i like making those from a food perspective and then there's a couple others some of the bottled stuff that you get from the kegs is really good for you so it seems like i make that a lot as well so for those that want to make food, I find that the easiest stuff. Some of the other stuff's a little bit harder to make. And and part of the reason I haven't done it yet is because I feel like if I was to get a farm going, I've got some birds over there or some, some chickens now that we're going to go see here in a second. And I feel like I've got to feed them every single day. So what ends up happening is I feel like if I did get anything else that I'm going to be spending way too much time, you know, having to, to feed and water and all the rest of the stuff. So I've decided not to do that yet, but we may, uh, we may do it later. Okay. I think we're good. We also got some of the other stuff over in this other side. We're not going to worry about that right now. All right, let's go ahead and make us just a couple things real quick. I think we need those. We need nanners. What else do we need? I think that's it, right? Ah, no, no, no. We need uh, apples and then bush limes. So these are the other things that I do have to I need to go ahead and go find me some more of these, make this a little bit easier, but we're going to go ahead and cook. Let's cook us up, uh, you know, two or three of these. We got a little bit of food on us. Look at that. We got, we got plenty of stuff here. So let's throw this back down here. Plenty of apples and bananas. Okay. I got some of those. All right. We got that. The one thing I do want to throw up in here. Oh, well, we probably should have put the crock meat in there. Okay. We're going to grab. Hmm. Which one of these should we do? I think we do this one, maybe. Uh, let's do one of those. And then we'll do one of these. Okay. Let's throw these down here real quick. We do have a spear. I'm taking that just in case. So we'll have that. And then now we are ready to go fight this alpha croc. Hopefully we don't. Hopefully this isn't too hard. I, I think it's going to be easy. I've got faith that it's going to be the easiest thing I've done. But I could be proven wrong here in a minute. Okay, there we go. We've extended that. And bam. All right. Okay. Let's get into this. So Alpha Croco. And spot its location. A very dangerous animal. It should only be taken by experienced hunters. Okay. Well, I'm experienced. Okay. Don't be challenging me. All right. I know how to do this. I know how to play this game. Okay. I don't know who put that on there, but uh, look at him. Right there. Right there in the middle. Oh, one of the other things I wanted to show you guys... I'm not sure anybody does. I'm going to do a new new beginner guide. But if you're trying to go somewhere, you can actually go over the top of it and click it. And then if you look up in the top right, now it'll it'll actually, you can use that. So that's way better than what I've been doing. I know as a beginner player, man, you'll just you'll be running around aimlessly trying to figure out how to get back to the base. Um, and then, of course, this way makes it way easier. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Yeah, we got a lot of kangaroos over here. I have been building everything up. I forgot to show you guys the, the chicks. We'll, we'll look at them whenever we get done with uh, this alpha croc. We got a whole, we got two chickens. We got hen solo 
is uh, one, and then uh, Hanny Penny is the other. So they're very, uh, very confident. They're laying me eggs and everything. So now I can make omelets in the morning. You know, everybody, you got, you got to get yourself an omelet. Now I don't. What, what's upsetting is that all you dogs are here. Look, look at this Alpha Croco right over here. You're about to get snacked on. Oh, dude, look at this. Wow, look, look, we don't even have to do anything, bro. Okay, hold on. We're gonna make this dude mad. Look, there's another one coming. There's another one. Holy crap. Okay, all right, dude, I'm sorry. How about you take a chill pill? Oh gosh. Okay, okay. Oh my. Dude, so where, where does he hit? Where does he hit? Okay, okay, we're good. We, we've got this already. Yeah, we, 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 we... Ow! Okay, maybe not. I thought we had it. Oh my gosh, dude. This is not going well. Okay, let's let's do this. Let's eat one of these. What's that going to do for us? Man, I probably should have. Oh, you got him. Okay, so he's got to kind of be right to the front left. Front left of him, I think. Yeah. Okay, we got him. Okay, we got him. We got him still. Man, you ain't got this. Get out of here, Alpha Croco. About to get jacked. Look at him. He thinks he's got it. He ain't got nothing. Okay, now this could be bad. Ow! Okay, that one that one hurt a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, that one that one did not feel good. That one did not feel good. He's done. He's done. Ow! Jeez. We got him. We almost died though. Like we are we're we're hurting right now. I'm not gonna. Uh, I think it hurt. I think I'm about to go back and talk to Henny and Penny and get some eggs made after that one. That was a little bit ridiculous. So that guy is no joke. So we're just gonna. I didn't even talk during it because I felt like I was gonna die if I said anything. That was that was that was outstanding. Makes me feel so much better now. And I think we got some huge. Yeah, look at that man. Raw prime meat. Holy moly. We got some good stuff out of that one. Okay. Uh, the other thing I want to do real quick. Let me go grab this copper. So that's pretty good, man. Alpha Croco, man. That's the first time we fought that dude, man. That's a good one. We had to fight those alpha devil things. And, and those things are brutal. We had like two of them back to back. So that that was not fun at all. Oh, look. Oh, here's, here's our chickens. Look at them. Hey, boys. Well, I guess the girls. Look, you got Hanny Panny. Go ahead and... Yeah, there you go. And then we got Hen Solo. Yep. Sure enough. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm getting your food, girls. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see what, man. They're needy. Don't don't tell them I said that. I don't want to get. I don't want to make them mad. But I'm just being honest, they always need something. There we go. All right. Relax. It's like real chickens, man. Probably could have built that fence just a little bit taller, you know. Made <laughs> that. Made that thing just a scotch taller. Okay, that's good to go. And we got a crocodile tooth, which is good. All right, let's go down here and see if we can turn this in. I'm not sure who who asked us to do that. Who was that? That was John. Okay, John was like, help, bro. Okay. All right. Uh, I think I wanted to chat. Is that it? Yep, I did that thing for you. Yep, took care of him. How much you give me? Woo! 27 dinks. I'm rich. I'm rich. Okay. And I think we have, who do we have here today? <gasps> yes. This is who we've been waiting on. Oh, rain. Okay. So rain is going to give us, what are we going to do? Okay. I want to chat. Okay. What did you want to chat about? Just, Hey, what's up? If I'm quiet enough, sometimes it feels like I hear the trees whispering. Okay. This is, this is an awkward conversation. Kind of sounds like a gust of air blowing through the leaves. Okay, let's, uh, I think we're done talking. <laughs> okay, so we've got this. 
we're gonna get the hoe yep that is a hoe make it soft and stuff this is good so that means we're gonna be able to do this okay what is this one carrots nice okay they grow during winter these grow during winter they grow over seven days they produce three carrots okay so i think that's important to know because it looks like right now we're in winter if you look up on the top left they're 570 each interested yeah and i think we just go ahead and get let's go ahead and get 15 because i don't know the next time i'm gonna i'm gonna see her make it easy and then what's this other one over here what is this thing what is happening here okay there we go kale oh wow okay those are kale seeds they grow in the winter okay so she must so she may come visit during different time periods so that's interesting to, to kind of see and i and i don't know if you can buy any of this stuff over here i don't think so and let's see if there's anything that she needs me to do there's that floating thing that i came in here and threw it down and now i can't i can't get that out of here it's just stuck in here it's phenomenal okay we got that out of the way let's check this board again make sure there's nothing else in here investigation i swear i saw something fall the sky oh okay let's go do that too yeah let's go get that done i'm gonna throw this inside of the house for now you guys don't need to worry about that maybe on the next one we will uh we'll do this maybe maybe not you guys may not be interested i know you could fill those up as well so basically go up to water and you can uh i think left click it or whatever fill it up so that's good okay all right so we'll go ahead and press m for the map let's scroll out uh we already did that up oh, it's right down here Okay, let's go ahead and left click on that. That way we know where we're going. And uh, let's go ahead and head down there. Let's see where it is. I think it is that way, right? Yeah, it should be this way. Yeah, I need to get some more of these too. Like, it's been doing okay, like throwing up copper and stuff like that. But I think if you had, and, and that's the queries, I think if you had, I had, I don't know, six or eight of those kind of running at one time, that it would just produce all kinds of, of good stuff. You know, the stuff that you need. I think just having one of it do it, not as much as I would I would hope for. So I'm gonna have to work on that just just a little bit. Where are we at now? Okay, we probably need to go around. Yeah, let's go around over here. We'll circle and come back across. Because I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I don't. Well, I really don't want to try to swim that far. Or maybe I can. Oh, never mind. Okay. You ready? There we go. We catch a lot of fish too. So I've been spending a little bit of time trying to catch better fish. I can't wait to get the boat and get out there and uh, and do it. And then uh, Theodore in the museum, a lot of the stuff that I've been catching now, I've been taking kind of handing off to him. So that's been, that's been phenomenal. Okay, let's see what we get out of this. Ah, look at there. So we investigated and then we got some bat trays and also some uh some circuit boards which we needed so that's cool okay well you guys got to see that too so those will pop up every once in a while i think that's probably the third time that i've seen one of those that have popped up so they're good to they're good to get every now and again i wish you could spear some of these fish that'd probably be a good thing all right and let's go ahead and put that back up here and then the other thing i wanted to talk about is if you're moving a lot of dirt so I know some folks may or may not know this, but you can actually get a wheelbarrow from John. That's pretty helpful for moving a lot of dirt. There, there's also some stuff you're gonna be able to get later, like the compactor, I think is what they what you call it, where you can just like remove dirt completely. But like for me, I've actually been trying to build up the base some. So I've been using the wheelbarrow to move the dirt from one side of the, the base over to the other side of the base so I can fill in something because for me, I, th I think these walls that you're seeing right here, I feel more comfortable with these where they can't get over the top of them versus like those fences. It just feels to me that they could easily jump the fence. So at some point I'll block these off and then they won't be able to get in there. But right now we don't really have to worry about that. Okay. Let's go in here. So the circuit board down, we'll put the... Uh, so put that down there, put this in here. We're gonna throw the eggs into our basket over here. That's good. We throw the meat over there. Looks like we've been doing a pretty good job of getting those. 
We do have croc teeth that we need to put up. So we should have enough now to, to get one of those bats also if we wanted to. I'm going to need to go back into deep mines here soon and get some of this stuff out of my inventory. So that should be good. Okay, let's let's run over here real quick. Oh, look. We've got all kinds of copper and stuff out there we too can get. And then so you can see I've been fishing a little bit five. And then, of course, we got the 10 bugs. So we're doing pretty good at getting a lot of that stuff, I think, which is a good. I mean, if you can do that, try to do as much as you can. And the other thing, too, when you're looking at their names, you see the hearts above their name that that's how you're doing with them. So you definitely want to be talking to them and like doing tasks for them. So like I'm doing this for whatever he needs. I have a black jacket I don't want anymore. I really don't want this jacket, but I'm going to buy it anyway. And then I'll get some, I'll get some, you know, he'll take some dinks. Oh, rudeness. And then let's see if there's anything else. Let's see if he needs anything else. Nope, it's all good for now. Okay. It is a black jacket. You never know. If I get chilly or get cold, you know, and I need something, I'll do it. I need to come in here and fix this up too. That's the other thing at some point. So we do now have two shirts, one shirt, one jacket. That's good. Uh, we replaced some of these items over here and then now we've got all this other stuff. So, I mean, we're, we're moving along pretty well. I think the next time, oh, kangaroo poo. I feel like every episode we got kangaroos pooping everywhere. <laughs> uh, we also finished this off right here. Started planting this all in here. I'm waiting to get some of the licensing and stuff like that that I need or the, uh, really the deeds from Fletch so I can start building this stuff out a little bit more because that's the only thing that kind of stinks right now is I'm not able to build out as much as I want to. So hopefully soon we're going to be able to build out just a little bit more. I feel like we need to move this because it looks like they're, looks like these dudes are jumping down here versus where I think they are. Let's put that right there. Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it right there. Okay. Well, perfect. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys coming out today. We had a really good time when we fought the Alpha Croco. That was phenomenal. Also got one of the things that falls from the skies. So if you guys ever get those or you see that on the billboard, I'd highly recommend that you spend a little bit of time in that. And I would start planting this stuff. Like I said, the fruit salads are really, really good. As you can see, I mean, uh, 10 health, 20 stamina. And then, of course, it's good for cutting and then some of your shielding. So it's really, really good. So I'm, but I'm absolutely, I continue to grind through this thing. I'm looking forward to doing some of the co-op. We're going to be uh, kind of intermixing some of the videos now, Star Citizen, the updates coming. So you're going to start to see those coming. But if there's anything you guys need or would like me to cover, please don't be shy to respond in the comments. Let me know if there's something you want me to cover to uh, make things a little bit easier. I'll have some more individualized videos that are going to be coming over the next uh, week or two. That way help people get a little bit better. And uh, please take a little bit of time to uh, look at some of my past videos. All right. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Senile Sarge signing off.